Greetings, dear friends! Today we will show you how to backup pictures and photos in Handy Backup. We will work in advanced mode and choose OneDrive as a storage for copies of our pictures. Firstly, open Handy Backup. Add a new task on the main panel. On step 1, select Backup. In addition, mark the advanced mode flag to get access to all options. Click Next and go to step 2. You can use here the generic computer plugin or the dedicated My Pictures folder plugin. The latest often contains most pictures on your computer. You can either select pictures manually or use filters in advanced mode. Let us go with the second option. Open the My Pictures plugin and select some subfolder containing your data for a photo or a picture backup. Mark the subfolder, this will automatically mark all files inside. Then click OK and go to the File Filters option. You will see a new dialog window. Here, enter a mask to select all files with the PNG extension. This will choose only the files with the same extension among backup data to copy. If you need to use several masks for photo backup, Please provide these masks here separated by semicolon. You can also deselect the files with some file mask by entering this mask in the field below. Click OK. Proceed to step 3. Handy Backup has many online and local storage options. Here click on the OneDrive storage plugin, choose Create a connection and you will see a connection dialog window. Ask for a new connection and the program will open a browser window to enter OneDrive. In this window, provide your connection parameters to OneDrive and click OK. Now, open a new OneDrive connection and select a backup folder inside your account. Click Next to go to the next step. The step 4 is for making advanced backup. You can select between full backup and some variants of partial copying, including incremental and differential backup, as well as mix cycles of full and some partial backups repeating continuously. You can also set up keeping some versions of the same backup data set, making time steps of over backups, handling errors and so on here. The next step allows you encrypting and compressing your files if you need it. Enable one or both these options. And provide compression principle file by file or into a single archive. You can also set a password for your photo backups. Please keep this password as you cannot retrieve it later. The so step 6 allows schedule your task. Enable scheduler and set up running this task three times a week by selecting weekdays. In addition, you can set up an exact time to run a task. In advanced mode, you can even trigger a task by some system event from the list in the bottom part of the window. On step 7, you can run some external software, for example, a garbage cleaning batch file, before or after the task. You can also enable notifications by email about task processing here. Click Next and go to the final step. The last step 8 allows you completing a task by giving a name to it. You can also see all task parameters in the central field here. If you need, return to some steps and change those parameters that you want. You can also do it later. Click on to finish, the task will start immediately, unless you deselect this option on step 8. You can see a progress bar next to the task name inside the main window. After receiving the success message, your photo task will complete. Check your picture backup results. Please open your OneDrive account and open a folder that you selected for backup on step 3. Here is a subfolder with a name corresponding to a task name. Open it and find the data subfolder inside. You will see only PNG files copied to this folder, unless you specify encryption or compression. You can open these files just from a backup folder and work with these copies freely without a need to recover backup data. We hope that this video is useful for you. See you soon!